Hi, my name is Trent Alexander, and this is my wife, Dr. Stacy Alexander. And together with our children, we've written The Balancing Act. It's a great family guide talking about some real life principles on raising your family. Physicality, this is yours. This is mine. This is yours. Yeah. So let me talk now because after I. Look. Oh, stop. <laughs> after. Oh no, after I finish talking, I will never get to talk again about this particular point. We uh, talk about physicality in the book because we think it's really important. One, for the overall health of the family. Yes. We also think yes. that this is a way to bring families closer mm -hmm. together. We do. We really right. uh, believe right. that. So one of the decisions that I made after years mm -hmm. of being uh, in shape and active and just all kinds of wonderful body features. Uh, when we had kids, my body was just different. It, the, the response to stimuli, that stimuli would mean food, the response to stimuli just changed. Okay. And so I look up all of a sudden and I'm just caring a lot more than I'm comfortable <laughs> with, right? And we tried to work out together. That didn't work, right? right? That didn't work at all. We right. didn't get along. But uh, I think I was about 40. Mm -hmm. when I made a conscious decision to do something more than what I had been doing right. not because of what he wanted because he's been faithfully working out but more so of the longevity of our marriage meaning we're together we plan on being together mm -hmm. why would I not take care of myself now which would mean he would have to take care of me when we get older mm -hmm. and he would have to take care of himself when we get older. Right. So I felt like that was very selfish of me to sit here and continue eating Skittles and licorice <laughs> and ch cherry limeades and the Brahms burgers. Yes. I felt like that was um, inconsiderate mm -hmm. of me and selfish, right? right? And so I started really focusing on what I needed mm -hmm. as a human being, mm -hmm. right? To exercise, get enough sleep, eat right. Mm -hmm. And it helped everybody in the family because I was exercising, feeling better, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so, Mr. Alexander, we hadn't had an argument about working out in years. Mm -hmm. So he never said anything. Yeah. But part of what we did as a family, I did it at home and Trent was more active outside, is we got the kids physically active. Mm -hmm. Even before they started playing sports, before they started playing sports at school or even a community league, we would do things at home. So what I would do, I would dance with the kids. And so whoever stayed up the longest, we would listen to whatever song they wanted to listen to, to dance to the next time. Mm -hmm. And then we would be very active doing their multiplication tables. We would run around the house with all kind of ideas in our head about doing multiplication tables while they practice. But you did something else with them. Yeah, what did you do? For, for me, um, and, I, and I call myself the, the consummate PE teacher of the house. They said I always helped the kids with their, uh, their lessons and mm -hmm. develop those things. It was great. And for me, it was to come in and just wear these little monsters out. So on Sundays, we'd come home from church and uh, I would take them to the park and mm -hmm. we would play. we create games. Number one, create games that don't have to have rules. There, there should be no rules. It should just be free play. You mm -hmm. having fun. Rules sometimes stymie the fun. And we would play what we call extreme badminton or extreme sand volleyball. And, and you just played until you dropped. Sand was everywhere. It was in their hair. It was in their shoes. It was all over the place. Uh, I placed them on the playground. We would pretend we were agents. Oh, ship. Yeah. yeah, we were agents or pirates, and we had to go through this obstacle course, and we would be on the monkey bars, and we jump down. Other families' children would jump in with us mm -hmm. and get behind us and what track right behind us. So while their parents are sitting over there in the shade talking to each other, there's one man that's on the monkey bars and he's swinging and I'm going, all right, I need you two clicks down. I need you to get to your right. I mean, I'm yelling out all of these commands and kids are jumping in, they're playing. But it was for me to be able to create fun for my kids. Right. So they could connect with me at all times. And the byproduct was they were exercising and they never knew. No, they, they didn't know they were exercising. Yes. And I remember even taking them to the doctor one time and Taylor couldn't have been more than about three or four, mm -hmm. chance about five or six mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the doctor looked at me, she said, they're not supposed to lift weights. <laughs> and I said, they don't, they don't. I, no, I just said, okay, yeah. you know, I'm just, I was kind of just kind of yeah. absent-minded yeah. about it. I said, they don't lift weights. And she said, no, they're not supposed to lift weights until they're in middle school. I said, okay, they're yeah. not lifting weights. And she said, but she has muscles in her arms. Yeah. I say, oh, I said, that's because she hangs from bars yeah. with her dad. Yeah. She, I said, she's very active. Yeah. 
Yeah. One of the things that we want to impress upon parents is that you have to get them active. That helps their minds to grow. Yes. It really does. Yeah. And people yeah. underestimate activity. They let them sit in front of the television. Mm -hmm. They let them sit in the classrooms all yes. day. They're just yeah. sitting, 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 sitting. But if you actually get them active, it helps stimulate all different areas of our body. So, mm -hmm. which is another reason why at 40, I said, I've got to get moving. Yeah. I can't just sit at this couch, sit on this couch every day and counsel people and not do something yes. physically. Yeah. But it helps them. It builds stamina. It builds self-esteem. It builds self-discipline exactly. because they're out there playing. Yep. And, and I mean, it's just one of those things yep. that we don't really give a lot of consideration yep. to. Yeah. But it does work. The research is out there, and that's why most schools, uh, of course, have a program. PE teachers develop mm -hmm. this program because they know that the 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 mind and the body are connected. They're right. not separate. And we saw, and, and I think other parents can also see that when they have their children active. Through the summer, that outside in the sun, right. There, right. there's nutrients we get from the sun. Right. But they can see that their child grows between fifth grade and sixth grade right. if they keep them active in soccer, track. So I'm not knocking basketball, but get your children out and in outside the sun. sport. Yeah. Outside sport, they can breathe, they can get the nutrients they need. And I'm almost for sure, I'm gonna guarantee it, you'll see your child's growth plates growth structure shoot up just because they're active out there in the sun. So our kids grew, their minds grew, they became some self-awareness of their body, mm -hmm. their strength, their speed, their abilities, uh, and their confidence uh, even became so much more improved uh, through sports and activities. Well, you know, one of the things why kids aren't as active now is because they have so many options inside. Mm -hmm. So when we were growing up, and we are very traditional parents, yeah. but that works, right? Yeah. We didn't have as many TV stations, yeah. right, to watch, and we certainly didn't have the video games exactly. or whatever. So when we told our kids they could get 30 minutes of electronics, so when we put that 30 minute mark on there, they knew that if they wanted to play those video games, mm -hmm. they couldn't watch TV. Right. If they wanted right. to play watch TV, they couldn't play the video games. Yeah. And so what did they do with the other time of the day? They yeah. went outside. Outside. They just went yeah. outside. And, and that's how we got them to get out from in front of the TV. Mm -hmm. the so, so we have to challenge parents then. Yeah. You can't send your kids out without you going out. What? You can't send I can't your, put my kids in the backyard? You can't send your kids out without you. So we going disagree. Out. I don't I don't I don't think I have to go outside. If I, if it's in a safe environment, I can send you out there just for free play. I think I think your kids play better with you in your presence. And what I mean by that, you being active with your child. When you're active with your child, we take our children to the park and we got a bicycle and they're riding and you're walking. I think your kids, I think the connection for the family is you're not just going to send me out. Because I remember back in the old days, folks, grown folks would tell us, y'all get, get out on the ground. Well, we play with each other. I don't understand you think that. That's just the balance but, of it. Like, I, I can't, kids can't play with adults all the no, time. I'm not saying that this you have you to be. Said. No, no. I think parents should be outside with their child. I think you should be out there with them. So you hit, we disagree. Yeah. Because yeah. No, I, I can send yeah. you, I can just send you outside. To, well, how would they play on the playground well, if parents I, have to be there I, all the time? I think parents should be witnessing at that. At school. I'm saying at school. Well, no, school no, play. Well, okay, at school, they're out there with teachers. There are so people, so there are people out there. So what I'm saying to you is this. Parents, stop just using outside to raise your kids. They ain't you using go, outside. They're using you, the video games. You go outside and be with your kids out there with Sometimes. them. Sometimes. Watching them. Sometimes participating with them. Yeah. They want to show you how fast they are. Yeah. It's hard to do that if you're in the house. Mom, I want to show you how fast I'm I am. I want to show you how high I can I, jump. Okay. But, but no, no, no. This is my, this is my, I'm not changing that. Get, because I, I want parents to become more active themselves. So, so now we just sit back. We got, look, we got so much now that well, we can, can get involved. Can you say there's in. a balance though? Can you, are you telling me that every day after school, will you listen to my question? I'm, I'm talking to the phone. But will you I'm listen sorry. to my okay, question? I'm sorry. Every day after school, mm -hmm. they come home, mm -hmm. they do their homework, mm -hmm. they eat dinner. You're still at work. So you're saying that, I'm just talking about our household. I'm supposed to wait to cook dinner, get ready for the next day until you get home from work, which is not until 9 or 10 o'clock at night, but I can't send the kids out on the playground I, I, just to play. I think, when you, your, I think when, you, when you set your routine up for what you do, you have time to go outside and be with your kids whatever time frame. We ain't going to run this to the ground. Whatever time frame right, you have. <laughs> Put yourself outside. Put yourself in the midst of your okay, kids. You okay, I'm, uh, I'm finishing up. I'm oh, summarizing. Okay, you're summarizing. Okay. Okay. All right. Put yourself outside. Put yourself with your children, and I guarantee you, your child will always want to impress you with what they're doing, and you're involved in that. 
we cannot use this video. No, I'm just playing. We're going to use it. But, but, but it is a balance. I, do th I think that okay. is, like we were saying in the beginning, how we started out. I don't know how we got to that. Is that you do need to spend time with your kids. That is the perfect place to develop that physically, yes. being outside. Right. Mm -hmm. But there is such a thing as free play. I learned the most. Right. I mean, just the, some of the best tools that I have right. making mud pies with right. my friends in the backyard right. when I was six years old. Okay. All right, so where can I get the book? <laughs> you can get our book, The Balancing Act. Yeah. You can go to Amazon and get our book. Or you can go to the website, mm -hmm. alexandersbalancingact.com. Thank you.